I'm Alex Kowalski. You're watching another rendition of Catch and Cook. This is a traditional fly all season breakfast. Stay tuned. Hey! There we go. Hey, that's a good fish. Yeah, bro! Ladies and gents, it's once again time for another episode of Catch and Cook. We got us another nice Iowa brand rainbow trout. Very nice. And we're gonna ethically clean them, take them home, and we're gonna show you how to make a delicious trout dinner. After step one, catching the fish, now it's time to clean the fish. And you have the kind of gory part of, first you gotta do the bonk, as you've seen in previous catching cooks. If you haven't, like and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, and hit that notification button so you can always stay tuned when we have more Catch and Cooks. Once again, you're going to do a bonk on this boy. Hit him in the top of the head. You'll feel a little dip right here in the back of their head. That's where you want to hit him, probably with like the back of a knife. But I'm going to use this thing right here. I'm just going to hit him right in the back of the head like that. And that'll knock him out, kill him, and then we'll be able to clean him. It'll be humane. But like I said, you're just going to take him and you're going to bonk him right here on the back of the head. One or two times, pretty hard. They may flop around a little bit, just like when you cut a chicken's head off. That's just their nerves firing, going off. But trust me, they're dead. Well, that was a good good one. bonk, dude. He out. Wow. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> All right, be bro. Post bonk, he's out. Now it's time to clean this guy and get him ready for the grill. First thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take a a knife and he's got this layer of scale and phlegm on him kind of like a gross you can even see it that slimy mucusy type stuff you just want to take the back of the front of your knife and just really go over him real well and just kind of work that stuff off of him you can definitely see all that mucusy phlegmy scaly stuff you want to get that right off of there Then it's time to gut this guy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that anal fin. You're gonna go in right there, run up all the way along his belly, all the way up past his gills. Okay, then you're gonna go to the top of his head. We're gonna cut down right here, and then all of that should just pull right out, guts and all. Yeah, so we didn't really come prepared with a sharp knife. This is getting the job done. Be very careful, because you know, the fish is still slimy. My hands are cold. And you're probably pretty far away from a hospital, so. You know, you don't want to have to drive really far to go get stitches. So yeah, you just run the knife up his gut like that. Make a nice crease. We're going to go into the top of his head, just like this. I use my boot so I don't cut myself like a Greg. <laughs> and uh, shout out Greg. <laughs> You're going to cut down his head right here. Just like that. Past his gills. And... Just take your finger. I didn't cut quite far enough, but you can pull him. Oh no! Head came right clean off. I missed. Oh shit! Look at that, dude. So. Whoa! Look at that, folks. If you're into fish eggs, dude, do you want to keep those? <laughs> I'm not about to eat those. That's gross. I know people that do like them, but you like fry them up. Not a Come on, Kowalski. Let's not... be adventurous. I'm usually adventurous, but I've I've tried fish eggs, and I'm just not a fan. Fair. Let the raccoons eat them. Yeah, so throw it up on the bank because those coons, they need to eat too. Winter's coming, man. I almost forgot to mention, after you get the guts out, there's going to be this bloodline in here. And if this fish was a cell, this bloodline, it's the mit mitochondria because it's the powerhouse of this fish. <laughs> it's what supplies the blood to all throughout the muscles. So you're just going to take your thumb along that bloodline and just work it out of there. You're not going to get all of it. But you definitely want to get most of it because it leaves a pretty gamey taste in the fish. You don't you don't want it in there. And there you go. Now you have a nice cleaned trout ready for the skillet. So tune into the next part. We'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> All right, we are in the nice, warm, cozy building and we are ready to get this fish cleaned better and ready to actually put on the skillet because how we cleaned it on the river, it's not 
food prep ready. It was just carry ready. So to start off with that, we're gonna take our fish. You're gonna get a little serrated blade like this. And you're just gonna go back and forth on the fish's skin like this under some running water. And it's gonna get that slimy, scaly stuff off. And that'll really help get rid of that fishy flavor because who wants the taste of fish when you're eating fish? That's just, it's disgusting. <laughs> so we're gonna get that fishy flavor off of this fish and hopefully just get it nice and cleaned up and ready for the skillet. We got our trout cleaned, fins off, and we're gonna get started on our other stuff because we're not just having fish tonight, of course. So let me show you what else we got cooking. So to complement our fish, we're gonna go ahead and make a little bacon, toast, eggs, and a nice little hash to top everything off. And it's gonna turn out really good. So first thing we're gonna do is get our potatoes, our pepper, and our onion ready to start that hash because it's definitely going to take the longest out of anything. But hold on. Before you start cutting, go ahead and get your pan started warming up. Get a little bit of oil in there because it just saves time. All right, well, all of our chopping is done. And to start off our hash, we're going to throw in our onions first because they take the longest to cook and you definitely want to have them nice and brown before you put the potatoes and peppers and whatever else in. As you can see, our onions are starting to brown, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with our double P, potatoes and peppers. You're gonna take a little bit of butter. You don't have to be accurate on your measurements because cooking isn't about accuracy. It's about having fun. <laughs> and also just not burning anything, so. Put some butter in there, everything in there, and then put a top on her. Just let her set. Those look absolutely amazing. Well, they probably are, <laughs> but they're not quite done yet. We're gonna let them cook a little longer. We're gonna turn the heat down to low, and now we're gonna throw our trout in and let him cook with them. Our trout's nice and dry now. We're gonna take him, and we're gonna season him up just a little bit on the inside, but just pepper him up real, real nice. Just go ahead and set our trout right in the middle. Probably should make us a little cut in here. It's like a little bed. Like a little bed. And what we'll actually do as well, we'll get us a little spoon spoon. Spoon up a little bit of this butter. Throw some potatoes in there too. And then just kind of pour some of that butter inside the trout. We'll turn that on low. Put the top back on. And we'll let her simmer for a while. Oh my goodness, that is looking really good. You can see that trout is just falling right off the bone. It's so tender. I think that thing is done. We're going to kind of shred it up a little bit, put it on the plate for presentation, and we are ready to eat. All right, well, we are done, and man, this turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. We got our hash turned out. Mm, that butter really just made it pop. Got our fish is all done, shredded up, got all the bones out of there. Over easy eggs, bacon, toast, we'll probably put some butter on it, maybe some jelly. It's gonna be really good. If you guys tried this recipe, let us know about down below. How did it turn out? Did you guys do anything different? Man, we'd, we'd love to hear it. Maybe we'll give it a try, but super simple, easy breakfast. Not a lot of fancy ingredients or anything. So, hey, when you're fishing in the Driftless, remember, keep your fish crispy, your feet in the water, and until next time, Tight lines. Boy, that's a that's some pork. Where'd you get that? This was one of the tallest pigs you can find in <laughs> all of Iowa, and you can tell by this strip of bacon right here. Good God, let's go ahead and get her started cooking and let her sizzle a little bit. <laughs> Make sure the bacon hits the pan though, because if it's not in the pan, chances are it's not gonna get cooked. You know what they say? One in the bush is worth two in the pan.
I'm sure someone out there has said that. All right, so we get a lively pepper here. We Whoa, gotta, where'd you get that thing? We need to disarm this pepper before we can actually cut it. So oh God. I'm gonna try my best here. Hopefully no one gets bit. Make it ethical. All right, we got it, we got That's it. That's a kill shot.